Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can remove the infection called Text Enhance. And what Text Enhance does, it takes random words on a web page and turns them into links. And then when you hover your cursor over the link, um, it displays an advertisement. So for instance you can see this uh, page here and some of the words are links. Now if I hover my cursor over the words, an advertisement pops up. Um, so if I hover my cursor over the word details, I get an advertisement for iPhone. Now you may think that this might be actually part of the page, but you'll soon find out that when you go to other pages, it also appears. So for instance, on this page, these words are um, look like links. So I'll hover my cursor over them, and you can see that it's an advertisement. And... Uh, this starts to appear more and more on different web pages, so it gets really annoying quickly. So I'm just going to show you how you can remove this infection. The first thing you're going to need to do is close down any browser you may have open and go to Start, Control Panel, Uninstall a Program. Now, you may have a program installed on your PC that's causing this problem, this infection. Okay? But the problem is how do you know uh, what program might or might not be causing the problem? Well, I've uh, got a text file here and it lists pretty much all of the programs that cause or is known to cause a text enhanced infection. Now I'll supply this, um, a link to this text file where you can download it underneath this video. But what you basically need to do is go through it very carefully and see if there's any programs in this text file or listed in this text file you've had installed on your computer. So if I scroll down the bottom here, I can see one that's known to be a problem called Precision Codec. And lo and behold, on my machine, I have this Precision Codec 2.0.393. So what I'm going to do is highlight it and I'm going to hit the uninstall button and it says do I want to remove it? Yes. But what's going to happen on some of these is actually going to pop up the a browser window saying you're uninstalling it. Just if that happens just close it down and you can see now that the, the program uh, causing the problem is gone. Now you may have more than one of these programs so again go through each one of these and uh, be very careful and, and install each program that you think may be causing the problem. So, on my machine is just one program, so I'm going to close down this box now. And what you now need to go do is go through each of your browsers and delete your browsing history, your cookies and your cache. So, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer first, and I'm going to go to Safety, um, delete browsing history and you want to make sure the cookies is ticked and temporary net files is also ticked. Click delete and that will delete the history. You want to next check to make sure that there's no extensions or add-ons installed. So go to tools, uh, manage add-ons, click on that, go through each one of these and make sure that there's no add-ons or extensions install with any of these names. So again, go through this list, making sure that there's nothing in here. If there is, highlight it, click on Remove or Disable. Okay, so that's in the Explorer. Next, let's load up um, Firefox. So you want to, um, again, Cookies and the c c Cache. So you want to go to Firefox, um, history, clear hit recent history, and then in this box here you want to select everything. Make sure the cookies and cache is or cache is ticked. Click on clear now, and it'll clear the cache. Then go to Firefox, add-ons, and make sure that, click on extensions. Make sure that there's no extensions in this list here. Okay, I can see now there isn't. So I can close down Firefox, 
close it. And the lastly, cr Google Chrome. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome. I'm going to click on the, the ratchet icon or wrench icon in the top right hand corner and go to Tools, Extensions first. I can see I have no extensions installed, that's good. If I did, I'd click on it and click on the trash can to delete them. Uh, and now I'm going to clear the, the cache. I'm going to go to uh, Settings. Um, click on Show Advanced Settings right on the bottom here. Clear Browsing Data button under Privacy. And again, I'm going to select uh, from this drop-down box the beginning of time. And I want to make sure that empty the cache is selected and clear download history. So clear browsing data press once you've selected those two things. Make sure that that's done. And that should be it. You should now be clear of the infection. So I'm going to load up Google Chrome to test. Click on this page that I was looking at before. And this uh, this other page as well. And if I scroll down the bottom here, you can see that there's nothing actually... Uh, there's no links. There's no words that have been turned into random links at all. And on this page, it's uh, it's fine. There's, there's just no problem at all. So I'm going to reload the page just to make sure. Yep, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so that is how you get rid of text enhance. So once again, download the text file. Make sure you check it in uninstall programs and you check it in your extensions or add-ons in your browsers that you use. Well, I hope this has helped. Bye-bye for now.